Another way to share data between components is via a common shared service. Usually in the real world, we will be passing data with multiple components hierarchy. There are no direct connection with parent or child component. So you may, you may be in a situation where you, one of your component will be a grandchild of another component or it will be farther away from uh, other components. Okay, let's assume in that way. And keeping Angular's reactive nature in mind, there is always RxJS to overcome this scenario. RxJS offers two types of observables. One is the subject, the other one is behavior subject. Now, finding the differences between these two needs a separate video of its own. In fact, RxJS itself needs a separate video as it packs loads of features which we use in our real world apps. So first off, let's create a shared service in our app, which is nothing but a simple Angular service. Let me open the Angular Visual Studio Code terminal. In here, I'm gonna just give ngGS and shared. So this will create a shared service for us in the root path, which is uh, obviously in our app folder, right? So let me collapse everything and have a visual look. So this, this is the shared service that we have created. Now, um, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna just uh, get the information, whatever API information that we got and pass them through the shared service instead of uh, in, by any other means. Uh, in the last tutorial, we have seen through view child, but this time it will be through, through shared service. Okay, so first off, we need to define what we are gonna need to send which is available drugs. So in the chat service, let's define a private uh, field called available drugs equals new behavior subject. All right. So this behavior subject is of type I drug. And it is of array because we are going to fetch uh, array of information from um, yeah from the API so it will be array of I drugs and then the initial value will be null behavior subject expects you to pass an initial value and in the in the uh, methods that we need to uh, set and get the available drugs so for that we will just call it as load drugs. You can name uh, any uh, names you like, any method names you like, like set drugs or um, set available drugs. But I just went with the a simple one like load drugs. And of course, a load drug takes up type of uh, array of drugs. And this dot available drugs now this one references to this field in class it should be next and drugs okay so this is the load drugs part now we need to have a method so this this one right this method will be triggered from the drug component and we need another method um, uh, to to be called by any other component like for example the parent component or even the info component I mean any other component down the component tree okay it doesn't matter which hierarchy it resides but we need some some way uh, to make this available drugs listen and uh, make changes when there is a change happened in this part okay so I will just call it as get drugs so get drugs obviously will be a sub, will be subscribed so we need to make them an observable so in rsjs you will be noticing too much of these keywords like observable and subscription and things like that behavior subject or subjects you know reactive js uh, deals with all these things these are the fundamental building blocks of uh, react js this has nothing to do with react js or uh, react native you know that that's something different so our observable is of uh, type again it will be of drug i drug and then so still we have an error which means we need to return them so we need to return the available drugs to whichever component that it is listening to so this dot available drugs dot as observable this is kind of best practice because 
we are not going to expose the the actual property actual field in a class instead we are just returning them returning the observable to a to another component okay so let's move on to the other bit now we have completed the shared service now we need to inject this shared service to the drug component that's the first step so the drug component resides in the patient component I mean patient folder and inside the drug folder so in here to inject a service we just define by this shared and then shared service so our shared, shared service is ready and in here in the on init so we have available drugs data now this is the uh, in the previous video we have seen how we are fetching the drugs information from an API let me just close this and yeah so the data will contain whatever information that is returned by the api so it's a response from the api now we have created load drugs right so we're going to make use of that so it'll be this dot shared dot load drugs now this one will expect our data now first piece of puzzle is done okay so now we need to move on to the next piece so that will be, uh, we need to move on to the patient component. So let's assume that patient component needs to listen to the drugs components available data. So we move on to the patient component. Let me close this one. And in the patient component, obviously in the constructor, we need to inject our shared service. So it will be shared and shared service. Okay after that in the on in it now when the component loads we need to start listening to our changed information like the drugs that's been changed in the drug component so so that the other part other uh, piece of puzzle is the get drugs in here just give it like this dot get um, shared dot get drugs now we're going to subscribe to them remember what I have told we are returning an observable so when you're going to return an observable we need to subscribe to them okay so we need to we need to get them uh, get the subscribe information as drugs and then open up the curly braces finally we can just emit the output with a console log from shared service just for our understanding's sake nothing implicit here in your app you might be using this uh, however you may like but for now we are just going to demonstrate the just the shared part and there is another available drugs in here we can just We'll just assume that this available drugs will be made use, so the drugs are uh, assigned to this available drugs. Okay, so two pieces in this puzzle have been completed. If you notice, we got the information through API, and from the API, an event is triggered like the load drugs, and then uh, whatever that subscription happened, it displays over here. Okay. Now we can simulate the data change and watch uh, watch the changes happening in the parent components. So the parent components, whatever that we are listening here, and you will get the information in the console, like so. So to do that, let's had uh, let's go to the component uh, HTML. Right in the component HTML, we can actually add a button. Right, so we can just drop a button here with a class of btn btn primary just you know could be anything but no and then sorry click off it could be get drug list so we are simulating an api we are simulating a refresh kind of you know thing uh, which is actually not a refresh but you know so let's see if we get the button here. Yeah, we get the refresh button. So when you click the refresh, it, it pings the API and then 
get the latest information from the from the service right so get drug list and then let's go here to the drug component get drug list so this will get our drug we just need to just copy and paste it over here now I can make a slight uh, modification to this subscription pattern okay sorry yeah so uh, we don't actually need this subscription to be set but you know it's a best practice to have a subscription set and then unsubscribe them when you don't when you when you're destroying the component okay so that's the general standard rule you just definitely need to do that but sometimes you know you might need you might be calling the uh, the API just only once in the lifetime of your component in that case you can introduce something called pipe take of one okay so when you do that I'm j I need to include them in the import so it should be operators take so when you do that this subscription will trigger and then uh, unsubscribe themselves so you don't need to worry about subscribing or un unsubscribing when the component destroys okay so this is just one time calling okay so we have introduced get drug list and that is getting triggered by this button right the refresh button now let me clear the console and when I do the refresh you can see the parent the patient component which is a parent component um, gets the latest information whenever there is a change or trigger happened in the drug component let's say the drug component is like three or four um, four components down the component tree okay it is not an immediate child of parent right so this is this is one method uh, how we can leverage a shared service in our application and this is very important since in a very large application data passing will be an unimaginable between components especially if there is no direct link between them okay thanks for watching i hope you find this video useful and do share it with your friends thanks bye bye